What's good y'all? It's Gas and today I'm gonna show y'all how to make beats for cash paint. Let's go. So we're starting at 105 BPM. I feel like it's like sort of that 90 to like 105 BPM range works best for these types of beats. And these Cash Paint Xavier So Bass beats are pretty unusual. Like they're not, it's not something you commonly hear. So just to give it a little breakdown, like between the melody and the drum distinction, I'd say the drums have a whole lot of like Jersey influence. It's like some shit that makes you want to get up, start moving, hit the jerk and some shit. And then as for the melody, I, it's, I know it sounds super weird, but I'd almost describe it as like that blissful, like sort of happy blade type of melody. So to start, pretty much all of these cash paint beats have like that high descending, like dreamy piano. So I'ma just be trying to replicate that as the first sound. I got this rock acoustic preset out of Xenology. Let's go. So I feel like I got this little piano pattern right. I'm gonna play it out. So next, obviously this bare piano kind of sounds a little empty. So we got a lot of space, a little ambience to fill out. And I feel like the string would be perfect to do that. So let's run it. So we got this super simple string pattern, just the same thing repeating every two bars. And it's just the same thing down an octave right here. And I lowered the velocities a little and it's gonna sound like this. So next I thought this shit needed like a real thick subby bass. So I just grabbed this big butt bass preset out of Triton and now I'm gonna try and lay something out. So we got the bass laid out here. Nothing really much to explain. Literally same note repeating every two bars. And I know it don't sound like much yet, but trust me, it's gonna get there. We got the Pretty Bells preset, XV5080. I'ma lay out a little bell pattern because I feel like that's really what this needs. And to really round out the melody, I just wanted to grab a pad, so I got this vintage tube preset, then I lay out a little chord progression. So I'm done, as y'all can see, super simple progression, nothing fancy at all. Uh, I feel like I don't even need to explain it. But like I said, just something to add a little more ambience to the beat, a little more depth so it's not so empty. And I also put a whole bunch of reverb on it. So this is what it's gonna sound like. So I just pulled up Albino, Albano, whatever the fuck, uh, got this Peggio Move preset and literally copied the chords from that pad and this is how it sounds. I feel like even six sounds is kind of crazy for a cash paint melody, a little bit OD, but I'm gonna select everything here by just clicking and dragging down and then going here, transpose selected, then I'm bring this up two semitones and this is the final melody. Now 
now it's time to add the drums. Now Cash uses like that little DJ scratch in pretty much all of his beats, so I'm gonna be using this one from the Glum Boy kit. Sounds like that. And I got another commonly used cash paint sound, this little chant. Gonna be throwing that in. And now I'm gonna just grind out the rest of them. So I just finished up with the drums, I'm gonna give you a real quick breakdown. So I already told y'all about the scratch, once every two bars, big fucking whoop. Same with the chant, just had it like, same pattern repeating every two bars, really nothing special here. And then next I had this gunshot again, repeating every two bars, but what I did is I went into the envelope and I squared it off and all that does is it's gonna make the note play out for as long as you have it stretched for. And the reason I did that is because at the end of every four bar, I had I had an extra note and I cut it in half to sort of like stutter it. So it sounds like this. And next we got the snare pattern. Snare pattern is always super unconventional with these cash paint beats. You can see it's pretty much hitting everywhere but where a usual 3 and 7 clap pattern would hit. And I like using right here as a starting point. Like I just put, that's where I put my first snare down and then I just let the bounce go from there. Just put down stuff until it sounds good. And then I pretty, it, it was pretty much the same thing repeating every bar. But I just add like one or two extra accent notes, maybe something at the end, really nothing special. Then I had this open hat hitting at the same exact spot every half bar, you can see, super repetitive. And then I had this portal open hat, sort of weird sounding at the end of every, every two bar. And then I did the same thing I did with the gunshots where I had it be a little stutter, I squared off the envelope at the end of every four bar, yada, yada, yada. And then instead of an 808, I used the sub, super deep sub shit growling and i pretty much just like did a 808 pattern like as you can see i again i didn't really spam the hits like like i didn't have a bunch of like 808 hits crazy rolls like playing with the octaves like none of that just had a pretty basic 808 pattern going on and then i repeated it after the first four bars and then last but not least I had this little kick pattern just repeating every two bars but the only thing is I just cut out this hit on the one for the second bar and that with the 808 it's gonna sound like this. And I forgot to mention but I upped the BPM to 110 and this is what everything's gonna sound like together. Now let's arrange it. So I just finished up the arrangement. I'm gonna break it down for y'all. So I got a few focal points I wanna point out before I start explaining like the whole breakdown and everything. But first of all, I had a lot of stuff alternating. For example, this uh, sub and the bass, the Triton bass. And then I had the sub and the kick alternating and th they did play together like 
like sometimes but most of the time they were alternating then i also tried to have this portal open hat sort of alternating with the gunshots like as you can see i took them out basically for the whole section here and had the portal open hat here and then i just had them layered together here so this volume automation down here all i did was go to the master right click there and then click create automation clip and then i just had this little like dropout after the first two bars and then I had that repeating every four bars. And the reason I do that is because it gives so much more bounce to the beat than just like a standard beat cutout. Like I feel like just having it go from all the volume to no volume and back right back up, I feel like it gives it just like a crazy bounce. I can't even describe it. So something I'm trying to preach in these videos is mixing up your melodies, creating different variations of the same melody you guys can see. These four are all the same melody, obviously, but it's just different, like, like substituting different sounds here and there and just mixing them up so it's not just super repetitive throughout the whole beat. Because if you have just like the same melody back to back to back or even for two eight bars back to back, I feel like it's super unenjoyable to listen to. It just gets super repetitive really quickly and just like mixing up the melody arrangement like this it just it, it makes the beat so much more enjoyable to listen to there's so much more diversity in the beat and there's like different parts to look forward to and if you're sending these beats to an artist it gives them so many different like flows and ideas to work with but for the most part i just did these four bars of arrangement that i just explained copied it over and then that's the entire arrangement and if we really want to get funky with it i got the mp3 right here i got the stretch mode on all i'm gonna do just drag it like let's drag it like two bars in so we stretch it like that and then i'll pitch it up 300 cents and now we'll have like this sort of nightcore version that a lot of the cash paint beats end up in like this And that's gonna be the beat y'all thank y'all so much for watching if you enjoyed or learned some make sure you hit that like button and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe I'm trying to get this channel to 2k real soon and also make sure y'all leave a comment let me know if this is gas if this is ass and also let me know what y'all want to see next i'm down for really any type of tutorial but y'all know the deal follow me instagram twitch all that links will be in the description but i love y'all i appreciate y'all so much as always this has been gas and i'm out peace